Hey, good evening. It's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. And today's been a busy day so far. Uh, once I got up, anyhow, I was a little tired from yesterday, and I'll be showing you that in a little while. Um, well, maybe I'll show you a little bit right now while I think about it. If you look here, you can see, I think you can anyhow, that I have top dressed my garden with leaves. I haven't got all of it, but I'm so thankful. Um, Jason and Patina and Autumn, they'd all did quite a bit of raking. And I was able to just rake those piles and get my beds covered. So anyhow, I got, I think, 10, 10 of the beds done. But we're supposed to get a killing frost tonight. So I need to harvest what I can that's in, still in my garden. So I'm going to begin doing that right now. And if my hair looks weird, it's because it's stuck together with honey. So let's do that. Still beautiful. This is so amazing to me to still be getting peppers. Some of them are really small. That's okay, late in the season, I'm amazed. Wouldn't this be fun to just stuff these little small ones and have just a almost an appetizer? There's still a lot of little tiny peppers on these. That's that's something. Oh, this almost makes me cry. This one waited too long. Beautiful. Okay, here's my peppers uh, just from outside. I have more in the greenhouse. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen bell peppers. Woo. Uh, I'm going to look and see if I see any tomatoes that, you know, really look good enough that I want to harvest them. It's pretty fun to have tomatoes this late. So, my 
this one. Oops, sorry, that's way crooked. Okay, I have some nice ones. If they have splits on them, I'm not going to take them at all because they really won't ripen nicely. Delicious. Well, they're so good. Okay, you got the idea. So I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to keep picking. Still picking. Got almost a full canner. And a couple peppers I missed. Okay, now I'm going to grab a few of the sweet uh, cherry tomatoes. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my peppers and I'm going to trim them, put them in the greenhouse, see if they make it. And the idea is I just trim these back drastically. Kind of like that. So that's going to go in the greenhouse and um, get it planted. And I'm going to keep looking. See if I can get you in the greenhouse with me. And I'm just going to plant these in. Okay, I got all the pepper plants pulled up. I'm in the greenhouse, which is a little warmer than outside, praise God. And I have got some beautiful bell peppers still. So let's add to those right now. I'll just put it where you can see it, move my little bucket, and I'm just going to kind of heal these in. I just want them, if possible, to survive the winter. Don't know whether they will or not. Here's the first one. real simple process. So I'm going to do the rest and I will be back. Okay, the next step is to give them all a nice drink of water. So I've got a waiting pool close by. 
And everything's going to get some water. Okay, that was about 25 of these little buckets of water. And so now I've got to go get some leaves to top dress this. This will do a lot to help keep the soil warmer. and hold moisture. I think about five or six more buckets and we'll be good. This will help feed them also. Back again. I was wrong that took two more loads so I'm gonna quickly pick the peppers that I have and uh, so they don't get wrecked these are just beautiful four gorgeous red ones off from that one little plant. Aren't they pretty? And let's see if I can get it where you can see it. Maybe not. I'll go from the other direction. Hope I don't make you dizzy. Okay. There we go. So I should have paused that. I got some nice little mini bells. We'll get those also. Okay. Oh, that's crooked. Okay. My dog's ready to go in. And I'm almost ready to go in, too. But, let's get this a little bit going further. Okay, it's going to be really cold, so I'm going to put some cloth over it, too. 
to help keep my stuff warm enough. Very lightweight. What they say is that this gives like another zone in temperature. So let's hope they're right. Tucking it in for the winter, I guess. It's getting cold out here already. So. Anyhow, I guess that's all the that I can do for this right now. <laughs> Yeah, dog. So, um, I just want to pray blessings on you and yours. Uh, when you're inside, outside, in the day and in the night, whatever you do, you keep dreaming.